Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. Today is October the 21st. I'm excited to do your Just for Today in a Meditation. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation. This is our Hood Recovery Services. If you need to reach me, do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. I am on fire this morning. I cannot believe I worked 14 hours yesterday. And do you know what? I woke up late and I'm happier than, <laughs> I am happier than a lark. I cannot believe how joyful I am today. That is amazing. God has really given me grace. Let's get right into this meditation. God's will today. Wow. This decision demands continued acceptance ever-increasing faith, and a daily commitment to recovery. That's taken from our IP number 14, One Addict's Experience. Sometimes we really live the third step, and it's great. We don't regret the past, we aren't afraid of the future, and we're generally pleased with the present. Sometimes, though, we lose our vision of God's will for us. Many of us dream of erasing the mistakes of our past, but the past cannot be erased. Many of us are grateful this is so. It sounds so weird. What is that? Many of us are grateful this is so. For our past experiences have brought us to the recovery we enjoy today. By working the program, we can learn to accept the past and reconcile ourselves with it by amending our wrongs. Those same 12 steps can help eliminate our worries over the future. When we practice in a principles on a daily basis in all our affairs, we can leave the results up to our higher power. Phew, that's beautiful. It seems as though our members with the strongest faith are the ones who are best able to live in the present moment. Enjoyment, appreciation, and gratitude for the quality of our lives. These are the results of faith in life itself. When we practice the principles of our program, today is the only day we need. Just for today, I will make the most of today and trust that yesterday and tomorrow are in God's care. Where did this, oh my goodness, let's take a moment, this is so good, let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer, moment of silence now. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can't and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you. What? This, this meditation is amazing. Off the chain. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I think it's because why? I don't even know. I, I don't really ever remember reading October 21st. I don't. But here's the ticket. I remember living it. I remember many days, many, many days. My stream tells you the truth. I remember many days living this very meditation. Yesterday was one of them. Today is another one of them. Where my third step is like at the Ah, it's like 100%. It's a 10 out of 10. I'm telling you, yesterday and today, absolutely amazing when it comes to the third step. 
because of my ability to have some acceptance, because my faith has increased and it is ever increasing. So that is, uh, you know, present moving, right? It's always happening uh, by choice because there could be times when I decide I don't, I'm not vibe and this doesn't feel like God's will. Really, I'm resistant. I want my own will. And there's times I can be rebellious. rebellious. And what does the basic text tell us? We need not lose faith when we become rebellious, right? So I don't know. I just feel like the way that I woke up after such a long, long day yesterday, it's like I just popped up. I did not hear my alarm go off. So I'm waking up late and I have the energy as though I had slept a full eight hours and had maybe had the day off and not worked at all. So I know I have God's grace, right? But here's the ticket. I make a choice about that. I make a choice about surrendering. I make a choice about having faith and trusting in the God of my own understanding at any point in time. I wouldn't say yesterday was a horrible day. I would say it was a character building day. It was a character challenging day. And I would say that regardless to how I performed, I don't have any regrets about yesterday. And here I am this morning with more joy, more peace, more happiness than I've had all week. Can somebody tell me what that is about? If that's not a God of my own understanding, showing me that I can turn my, my will and my life over to the care of my God, and receive the peace and the grace and the joy that I need. Receive tolerance, receive spirituality, receive the spiritual principles that I need to be able to conduct myself in a manner that when somebody looks at me and listens to me, they say something is different. I'm attracted to that. There is something, something different about her. Here's the ticket. What about you? Yeah, see, let's drop mic on that. What about you? I'm going to give you a second to think about that. I need to clear my throat with this warm coffee. What about you? What is going on with your life? How was it yesterday? And how is it right now? What is your energy right now waking up? What is it? Because I can tell you my physical pain, I'm not even paying attention to it. It's like a non-conversation. It's continual all the time. Every now and then, I will complain about it. So I don't let what's going on with my physical self determine my spiritual presence at all. So I'm going to give you a second to think about that. What are you doing with your third step right now? I want, I want you to analyze that. Yesterday? And how you feeling today and how you're going to work this third step. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Now, here's the other thing I want to talk about. I'm back, okay? Here's the other thing I want to talk about. I don't know. But this is also the first time that I ever remember reading anything in, in a literature that gives the perception that there's levels of faith. Now, I know that there's plenty of literature that talks about honesty at different levels. What we need at one level recovery compared to what we need now can be different, right? I'm paraphrasing, and I'm sure you remember reading something similar. But look at this third paragraph. 
I'm going to try to highlight it without messing up my screen. You see that? It seems as though our members with the strongest faith are the ones who are best able to live in the present moment. Enjoyment, appreciation, and gratitude for the quality of our lives. These are the results of faith in life itself. When we practice the principles of our program, today is the only day we need. I'm telling you, I'm sitting in my chair, but if I could run around this block screaming with joy, I would absolutely do it. Because I, I want for you to know. I want for you. Listen to me close. Because I'm about to end this podcast and go on to the next one. My time is short this morning. I want for you to know. That wherever you are today. Wherever I am today. And I'm at a 10. I'm excited about life. There's levels to this. You develop your spiritual principle of faith and trust in your higher power. You become intimate with your higher power, your God of your understanding. Make it a daily conversation, a prayer and meditation. I promise you, if you do that, you will find that you are considered one of these members that have stronger faith. And you will be able, you will be able to look at your life and say, I'm living in today. I'm living in the moment. Yep, I got a bill to pay. I got a divorce uh, to go through. I've got to go back to court about my children. I've got to go face this um, ticket, this charge. Uh, yep, I got to do that. I got to talk to my um office, uh, not my officer, but my uh, employer, my boss, my supervisor. Yep. That's all something that I have to do. But you know what? Just for today, I have great faith and I'm not going to fear anything or anyone. I'm going to face everything and recover instead of facing everything in fear. Running away from it. No, we're not running. We're not running today. I want you to sit in this. I want you to sit in this meditation. And when I end it, I want you to take a moment of silence. I want you to take a moment of silence and for you to say the serenity prayer. And for you to get up and walk out of this meditation, this moment with great faith, great trust. Knowing and believing that the God that got you this far. Is, is right there with you, is right there ready with you for you to say, I cannot take this. I'm turning it over to you and I'm going to move forward like I already know. That's what faith is. I'm going to give it to the God of my understanding and move forward like I already know it has been taken care of and worked out for me. So why should I take it back? Oh, here you go, God. Here's my problem. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't do that right. Let me take that back. Okay, you taking it back before the master artist is even done with the process. You taking it back before Michelangelo has even had a chance to paint the finger. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Let's keep it 100. We play with God when it comes to the third step. But today, I want for you to get off of this podcast and say, you know what? I'm done taking it back. I'm done being childish with this. I'm going to give this to the God of my understanding. I'm going to take this moment of silence, say the serenity prayer, and I'm going to jump up from here on fire for this day, this moment. When people see me today, I'm going to be like a magnet. They're going to say, what? I am attracted. What's going on with you? You know what's going on with me? My faith and my trust in the God of my understanding has just increased like 10 notches. You want to ride this horse? You need to get on with me in this recovery. Because if you don't come with me in recovery, you will be left 
behind point blank period my name is mighty stream <laughs> and i am so happy i'm so happy i know you can sense it in my voice but listen this is real talk this is our lives these are the lives that almost didn't make it take care of it have a beautiful day on purpose i will be talking to you soon